right, guys. Demi Lovato is going to be at the Pony. Just figured I'd give you an update. So, guys, we're hunting today in one of New Jersey's landmark beaches. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, find something good. So let's get out here and give it a try. Okay, this was my first single. It was a 30. And I believe it belonged to the, the showers here for the nozzles. So, uh, kind of worn out, though. Let's keep going. All right, so far it's slow. I think give you a picture of the boardwalk. See Madame Marie's is over there. Springsteen fans would know about that. Uh, let's keep going. It doesn't look too bad. Today it looks like it looks like there should be stuff here. So, so far it's been quiet. I thought there was more people on the beach yesterday. Maybe there wasn't. Okay, got a 40 signal with my legend. Got a shield set. Okay, hopefully it seems to pick up. All right, got a time. All right, another set. Got another shield set. All right, guys, got a 25 signal down here. It's a pull tab. That's supposed to be a nickel. Right, guys, I dug enough pull tabs. I finally got a ring. I just a ring, and that's number uh, eight on the year for me, number 12 for Team Lynch. So, I'm not sure what this ring is stamped inside with a, uh, like a S6 and Something else here. So into the ultimate finds box it goes. And we're getting the season rolling. Alright, things are looking up now. I just got another rig. That's number 13 for the year. Number 9 for me. I took a look at it. I don't see any markings on it. I think it's a cheapie. I mean it's a nice looking rig. But uh, let's keep going. Nice blue water today. Ocean looks nice. All right, surface fine. It looks ready to work. Got his hammer. Let's keep going. 45 single. And I got another dime. All right, got pay pitch. All right, guys, coin spill. Couple nickels and a penny. I got another penny. Nice day at the beach. Single. And there's our quarter. Let's watch the cross in Delaware. Okay, this got an 11 signal. Got myself an earring. Had an iron grunt to it, so it's just a junker. But uh, it sounded a little unique, so I was happy to get it. Hello there. So, Tim went out while I was at work, and now I'm going out while he's at work. So let's see who winds up winning this competition today. It's Monday. 
the 22nd of May. Happy birthday, Mom. And uh, I'm going to put my socks on and my boots. And uh, we're going to hit a park. He went to the beach. I'm at the park, which has a waterfront. So we'll um, see what we each get at our wrap-ups. All right, first little hole there. Uh, just dug a 63. Dental cream. Let's keep First going. Candles of 48. That's right here. That's a cap. Okay, just dug a 65, and it is a Lincoln Memorial scent. There you go. Unfortunately, it's 1985. All right, there's my hole there. Got a 70 out of it. Yep, there we go. Now we're on. All right, what have I got here? It looks like it might be a washer. Yes, it is. Got a washer. Okay, got a 79.80. It's a 2,000-something dime. Okay, got another copper cent. I think this is 1979. All right, I got a 79 in the plug. Let's see what we get. Oh, wait, okay. Hang on, what have I got? Pull tab. Yep, pull tab. Or, at least that's what it looks like. No, it's not a pull tab. No, it's not a pull tab. It is a hook. A golden hook from something like a keychain. All right, how about a little VDI action on my new latest? There you go, 79.80 on my Xterra this afternoon. Okay, shallow hole right there. Got myself another rosy. Here it is. All right, in my clump, I've got a 79. Right there. Ah, oh, there it is, right there. There we are. What is this? Wow, 79. Penny? Wow. That's a high memorial penny. Not what I was expecting. All right, in my plug right there, I've got a 5963. So let's see if we can find it. I'm gonna put my other glove on. And get out a little red. Turn her on. Let's see, there we go. Got it. Man, pulled the whole clump out. That's all right. There we go. got, well, it might be a Zinkin. It's got a notch out of it. <laughs> yeah, memorial scent with a hole notched out. All right, guys, I'm home. It's time for me to do a wrap up. I'll show you what I got when I was out detecting today. But before I do that, I have to let you know, 
I had a nice conversation with one of our local canine officers because he came to check on me while I was at the park. And we got to talking about detecting and he reminded me not to dig up anything that goes tick, 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 boom. So I told him not to worry, I won't do that anyway. Uh, but of course he asked me about my good finds and my weird finds and do I detected the beach too. And he made some suggestions of places that Tim and I can go to. So we've got a couple of connections now, local for historic types of digs. And, um, you know, we'll uh, get our permissions and then we'll uh, go and uh, do some more dirt digging. But for now, let me show you what I got. All right, here's a top view of everything that I found today. Now let's take a look at things closer. Look, a bottle cap and pull tabs and aluminum. And there's my washer and some other kind of junk and some type of plastic that was in a hole that I can't remember what else was in there. And where's my first? There's my first dig right here. Den of something. It looks like it's medicated. Pensiclovir. I'll figure out what that is. Cream. Anyway, and there's my latch, my hook, that I thought was a ring maybe, but it's not. Oh well, that's the way it goes. And of course, bottle caps, aluminum, something that's smooth on one side. And then, like, like it's got stuff stuck to it on the other side. I tried to clean it off, but I can't get any more off. And I'm not going to bust myself trying to get it. So, I might get it completely cleaned, and then we'll see if it's anything special. Zinkin, zinkin, copper penny, copper penny, zinkin. The copper pennies are dated. Let's see if we can find a date on this one. Can you see the date? I can't see the date. We'll find it later. But this one is easy to find. There you go. Here's the date on that one. And then of course I've got a Virginia quarter. Virginia, Virginia. There you go, there's the fleet. Virginia quarter. And two dimes. Of course, not silver. That's the way it goes. Oops, poor Rosie, he's sitting on his head. There you go. One. And two, 2000 something. Anyway, but so maybe I got lucky and I beat Tim in the clad. I doubt it very much. I got 49 and a half. Well, maybe three quarters of a cent there. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll compare and um, we'll see on the next. Here's my wrap up of my May 22nd hunt. Uh, had a good time at the beach, found a couple nice things, and uh, looking to get back out there tomorrow. So happy hunting everybody. Let's show you what we got. All right guys, here's my wrap up for today. Here's this handsome fellow that I got. Mr. Hammer Hand there. Ketchup packs, little aluminum, bottle caps, pull tabs. Little doohickey, which I think belongs to a faucet or something. I got uh, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50, uh, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57 cents. I don't know if Kathy beat me today because Kathy was out hunting too after work. I got a vapage there. 
I get a big old hoop earring. Not a really big one, but big enough. Big enough. And it's uh, it's just a junker. I got this ring here. I don't know what you call it. This is not really a snake type, but uh, I don't see any markings inside it. I got a feeling it's just bling. But uh, I'll take a uh, closer look at it at home. Maybe I'll test it. But I don't think it's real. And then I got this ring here. It's got markings inside, which I need to make out. But uh, that right there, it looks like it's it's uh, coral and turquoise there on the ring. And then uh, if you look at the back here, it's got these markings here. And I believe that is Navajo symbol. So I'm pretty sure this is ring is a silver Navajo ring. Uh, I'll keep looking until I find the, the exact match. But uh, that's a nice find. I'm happy with that. So, so a little... Uh, what I believe is a silver Navajo ring, and I'll test it when I get home to make sure. And I want to look up the uh, maker eventually anyway, because I got marker, got marks in there. So, cool ring, happy with that. So I got the both rings about about thirty yards apart, down lower, uh, right at the top of the slope is where I got both of these. I got very little up high. Uh, these are all low with the you know last little bit of, of uh, towel line there. So, so that's cool. Had a good hunt. Looking forward to getting back out. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for following along. And uh, see you soon. Bye. and commenting on all of our videos. See you around.